Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Veteran Guardsmen from the Kill Team Octarius box. We all know what they're called though. We know what they're called. One of the problems that I have with the Octarius box is that it only allows you to make 10 miniatures and there's tons of miniature options in there. I wanted to have all of them. So taking an idea from a YouTube channel called Benji's Hobbies, I 3D printed a bunch of deathcore bodies so that I could put all the options together. I will link that video in the description below and I will link the My Mini Factory link of the files that I use below. I don't know if I have permission to do that. I'm going to do it anyway and then just see what happens. So I wanted these guys to have a really gritty, realistic, or, or not realistic, real world kind of look to them. So I did a coat of Chaos Black with just the spray can and then I did a Zenithal highlight of the white ink from Liquitex through the airbrush. This should give us a good gradient going down so we actually won't have to do much shading and we're just going to use the contrast paints. I really wanted this to have a World War II sort of aesthetic so on the coat I started with snake bite leather. And then on the shoulder pads and the helmet and whatever these little spots on their wrists or hands are, whatever that's called, I did Militarum Green. For their pants or uh, breeches, I use Space Wolves Grey. For the cuffs of their jacket and the undersides of their jacket that are flipped up, I used Agro Stunes. I also use the Agro Stune on all the gas masks.
For the leather shoulder straps and the belt, I just used black Templar. I also put this on the boots and the gloves. For the backpacks, I went through and I used Gore Grenta Fur. That, I really have a hard time saying that paint name. And for any of the parts that I wanted metal, I went through and used the Vallejo gun metal. A couple of the miniatures have uh, some tanks or uh, some vials of blood for the medic, so I use Blood Angels Red for that. Also in the silly medical bag that's just one miniature. A couple of them are holding pieces of paper, so I just did skeleton hoard on that. And to go through and do their eyes, I just did Beharit Red. I think that's how you say it. Beharit Red from Scale 75. For the bases, I used the European mud, the thick mud from Vallejo, and I did not care if I got this on the bottom of the coats or on the shoes, it's just going to add to the overall World War muddy aesthetic.
Once that had dried, I went through and used Basilicanum Gray on all the metal parts. And I use the Soil Work Oil Wash Dark Mud from Scale 75 to just shade all the mud on the bases. And I use this uh, acrylic uh, black paint just to put a rim around the bases and these are done. Now, these guys look pretty cool. They definitely uh, look the way I wanted them to look. Really dirty, really World War I, World War II sort of aesthetic. So all in all, these guys took about an afternoon to paint. The mud took the longest time because of how long it takes to dry but these turned out really fun and cool I, I actually really like them this is another way of how easy it can be to go through this stuff the contrast paints are a great way to get into this hobby um, having the airbrush for the Zenithal really helped if you don't have an airbrush and you want to really get some miniatures painted you should think about getting one they are expensive I only just recently got my own and it was pricey, but it's worth it. I'm getting things done really quickly and really enjoying the process of learning how to use it. So thank you for watching another episode of Blaster Cated Painting. Like, share, subscribe, do all those things on YouTube that uh, people tell you to do when they want to be successful. Uh, those are the things I would like you to do for me. You don't know me, but I would like you to do it for me. <laughs> Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. I really wanted to do a more World War II kind of color scheme, so I went with kind of a, the browns and greens. So the first thing I did is all on the coat. Bleh.